Hello guys, it's your boy Drop a Lesson here and today is going to be the Game Week, Premier League Game Week 2 predictions. As you know, Game Week 1 has finished. Um, a lot of um, good things happen for different clubs, especially Newcastle uh, winning by 5 goals to 1 against Austin Villa. City managed to start off on the right foot against Burnley. And yeah, now Game Week 1 is done. Let's go into Game Week 2. And let's get, let's um, do this. So on Friday the 18th of August, there is a Friday night game again. I do have my laptop on on the right side as well. It's going to be Nottingham Forest against Sheffield United. Now, Nottingham Forest and Sheffield United both lost their games. Nottingham Forest, despite playing well towards the end towards the game, they couldn't get that equalizer to get them a point. While Sheffield United did well to hang on until the later stages of the game, unfortunately the loss against Crystal Palace. Now, if you do remember Nottingham Forest, they were a, a a fortress at home because the city ground was always a tough place to go to, always very hard to get victories at as well. And Nottingham Forest do play better at home than they do away. However, this is a new season, they might not have the same, um, fort, uh, they might not be a fortress at home this season, it could be better away. As for Sheffield United, you know, they were trying to get something against Nottingham Forest, but I think, despite me saying that, I think it's going to be a draw between those two teams. All right, sorry guys, my computer just decided to go to sleep there. Let me just get back to you one second. Okay, now let's get back. Okay, now Saturday the 19th of um, August, we have a couple of games for you guys. No topical kickoff for this one. Fulham against Brentford, this is a London derby. Fulham has win their game against, I believe it was against Everton, by one goal to nil. Leno was big in that game against Everton. And Brentford, who, well, Ivan Tony did well against Spurs. They managed to give Spurs a lot of problems, but end up actually drawing the game 2-2. Now, like I say, it is a London derby. These two teams are, you know, the rivals, and, you know, they will be very interesting to see how well these two teams will do this season. Both did it very well, especially Brentford, who came close to a European uh, playing European football, but it wasn't meant to be. As for Fulham, they finished quite well. They finished, I think, I believe, 10th for last season. Um, without Mitrovic, I remember Ivan Tony, it should be a fun game, but Brentford do have um, Mebemo, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how you say his name. I think Brentford win that game, so I'm going for a Brentford win. Liverpool against Bournemouth. Now, Liverpool, again, got very, very, very lucky to actually draw against Chelsea because Chelsea were the better side of that game. As for Bournemouth, Bournemouth, let me go back to see what like, Bournemouth for a second, guys. Bournemouth, Bournemouth. Did they win that game? Let me check right here. I believe Bournemouth actually won that game, didn't they? I think they did. Okay, they drew. They drew against um, West Ham by one goal by 1-1. One, one. And, um, you know, Liverpool, they're very good at Anfield as well. Just like I talk about um, Nottingham Forest, they are good at home, better than away. And Liverpool were very fortunate to actually win the game as well. So, I think Liverpool win that game. So, I'm going for a Liverpool win. Now, Luton and Burnley, that game is being postponed because, you know, Luton are... Because the stadium is not good enough for Premier League at the moment, so we're going to skip that one. Wolves against um, Brighton. Now, Wolves, they played very well last night against Man United, but they couldn't find that, you know, that goal they needed. And they were robbed because Onana did eventually clatter one of the Wolves players. And unfortunately, the referee didn't go to the monitor and he just went against it and said no penalty. So that was very, very frustrating for Wolves, as for Brighton, the start of the season really well. Managed to be looting time by four goals to one, and they're looking like a very good team. They're playing European football this season as well. Uh, Matoma, absolute quality player. I really rate him a lot. I do enjoy watching him as well. He's really good and definitely a, a future player for years to come. Um, Brighton, I guess, like, they proved already. You know, they did well last season. And I do like the way they play. So I'm going to say Brighton to beat Wolves. Now, it's final 30 kickoff on Saturday, of course. It's going to be Tottenham Hotspurs against Man United. Now, Tottenham, like I said about earlier, they did get a draw against um, Brentford. However, Tottenham did do well, though, and play very well. 
United on the other hand, they got very lucky because Wolves were all, was all over them in that game on Monday and Onana should have been penalised for that um, clattering towards the player and you know, I think both these teams Man United, Man the game where only by chess, Tottenham played well I think it's going to be a good game to watch and I think it's going to be a draw in that game and there's an 8 o'clock kickoff guys between Manchester City against Newcastle now Newcastle they started the season very well by beating a very good team from last year from Austin Villa by 5 goals to 1 I was not expecting that score to be that much but apparently it was as for Manchester City, Manchester City of course they are the defending champions they started off really well against Burnley although Burnley played well it was the quality of City was too much for them in the end now of course Newcastle finishing fourth last season, City winning the trophy and City are playing the Super Cup I believe uh, Wednesday against Sevilla so that's to be a fun game to watch uh, Newcastle on the other hand, they're looking good, I like the signs they've got you know, I like the team, they've got um, uh, Tonali, he's going to control that midfield they've got a good defence, their defence were probably one of the best defences in the league last season and you know, although I do like their team, I like Newcastle a lot. They will make City work hard. Though. I don't think City will win the game that quite easily, but I think City will still manage to beat Newcastle. So I'm going for a City win. Now Sunday, only two games for you guys on Sunday. Arsenal Villa against um, Everton. Now these two teams are looking to bounce back, especially. Uh, Austin Villa because lost 5-1 against Newcastle, Everton losing 1-0 against Fulham. Now, Everton, they were extremely lucky. They really, really went at Fulham all for a lot. However, it wasn't meant to be. And Austin Villa, despite the RB, uh, the new signing, scored a the goal. They were again absolutely torn apart. But his early days, I'm sure they'll improve. You know, they've got a good manager, a good coach, a good team and i think that they'll be all right but i think it's going to be a draw between those two teams now son now west ham against chelsea now west ham already spoke to my ready to go draw against bournemouth chelsea on the other hand again played very well i like this new nicholas jackson guy enzo fernandez and that game against liverpool was probably our best player he was sensational and he's definitely a midfielder that we're looking to upgrade him even more and more he'll get better and better and better Enzo Fernandez, man, what a player, I really do like him. Um, yeah, talk about Chelsea. The way they played against Liverpool, they were far the better team. Like, we were really, really good against Liverpool. However, you know, it's like every time we play against Liverpool, right, it's always a draw. We always draw against Liverpool. You know, it's been happening quite often now. And, you know, I think it might happen when we play them again. However, you know, a lot of good things out of that game and hopefully this will be the start of a um, a rebounding season for us because we finished 12th last season i don't think we're going to finish 12th this season so really not with the new signs we've got with Nkuku coming back i believe in i think it's january i'm not mistaken because of the knee injury knee injury take a long time to heal and yeah i think chelsea are looking looking good they look good on the Liverpool. That's what I'm going to say, Chelsea to beat West Ham. And I believe there's a Monday Night Football. Yes, there is. Monday Night Football back again. Crystal Palace against Arsenal. Now, Arsenal, again, managed to win the game against Nottingham Forest. However, it wasn't comfortable because they had to, you know, dig in deep to get that victory. And, um, you know, they looked good in the first half of Arsenal, but the second half, it was all Nottingham Forest. I don't know how Nottingham Forest did not get a point. Crystal Palace, on the other hand, they managed to win their game against Sheffield United later on during the game. Um, so as Park, you know, is is always going to be now. It's, it's probably one of the most loudest, uh, loudest stadiums in the league, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, it'll be tough. It'll be tough for Arsenal. However, I think Arsenal, with the quality they've got and the players they've got, it'll be too much for Palace. So I'm going to say Arsenal to win that game. So those are my predictions for game week two. Um, yeah, this league will be very interesting and we're going to see who's going to come up top this season. As you said, there's only we're going to be two games in. It's going to be a very, very long season. This has been Drop a Legend here. Take care and goodbye.